A Michigan TV director and many other staffers have now been fired after they made the dangerous, the very dangerous desire request that their staffers report fair and balanced news. Wow, that's something that we don't ever see much anymore, right? But fair and balanced when it comes to the pride celebrations. What exactly happened? We will dive in and discuss. Welcome, everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, eh, that's all I can do. <laughs> if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button. It really helps us out in the algorithms, getting these videos out there to more people. Share the videos as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell, subscribe. Of course, yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. So in Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, this is Wood TV. Now, you got to understand that this particular part of Western Michigan is pretty conservative in nature. And the news director for Wood TV knew that. And so there was a memo that was given out to staffers. And basically what it said was this. If you are going to be covering the Pride celebrations, okay, for all everything. Now, this was, you know, going on during Pride Month. But if you're going to be covering this, we want you to get both sides of the story on the ground, okay? Don't just cover every single Pride event and just put your bias on it. In fact, even in the memo, it stated that you may not personally agree with an opposing side's view when it comes to this. Now, you know, this is referencing the fact that, of course, you know, we saw with many of these, you know, Pride rainbow marches and everything else like that, that were advertised as, oh, I don't know, uh family friendly they weren't exactly family friendly and that's what the news director here for wood tv was trying to get the message across get both sides of the story balance it out you want to cover the pride stuff then fine but let's get other people on the ground who are there possibly protesting the pride event and what's the reason that they're protesting it get their side of the story too right i mean this makes sense right we don't ever see this in news anymore but apparently that did not go over well with the media company that oversees Wood TV as well as the other staffers at the station. I'll talk about what happened in just a second, but first guys, let me put a quick plug in here for my ministry. If you guys enjoy my daily content here, you appreciate my work, consider making a generous donation to support me. There's a couple different ways you can do it. One, you can just simply click that super thanks button. It's really easy. It's right here on this video. That's how you can kind of throw me a tip with a one-time donation. You can select any amount you want. Or if you guys prefer, you can make a monthly contribution. You can join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. That link is in the description. The Patreon is basically an upgraded version, a premium version, if you will, of my YouTube channel. Except with Patreon, unlike YT, you'll actually get all the notifications for the videos. You can leave all your comments on those videos completely censorship free. You guys know that YT takes the comments down all the time. And you can send me direct messages. So check it out. Again, it's patreon.com slash news. link in the description. Big, big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So upon the memo going out, the Next Star Media Group, which owns many, it's actually one of the largest, the largest media group in the U.S. that owns these news stations, found out about this, but also the staffers. They were apparently so triggered by the memo that went out asking that they cover the pride celebrations fairly and balanced. And actually, even too in the memo, it said that, you know, just tone down on the coverage of the pride event events altogether. You don't need to report on every one. Only report on the ones that are, you know, that, that show like two sides of the story here. But that triggered them so much. Apparently, there, there were protests at the station with other employees walking out. How, how often? We saw this with, remember, with Netflix. Right. When they didn't like the fact that, you know, people like Dave Chappelle were allowed to have a comedy show on the network. Right. And everything. And they, they were protesting. They're all oh, you're, you're, this is against trans and this and that. Similar here uh, for Michigan Wood TV. The fact that journalists would not want to report fair and balanced news. I, I, I mean, this just this just shows you right here. Right. Pro just do your job. The, the directive was said to cover it fairly. And again, it even said here in the memo, you don't have to agree with it. But they said here that our viewers matter. You have to understand again that we are in a conservative area and our viewers are not going to want to hear just some biased opinion by all the journalists here just because you're all about the Rainbow Pride stuff. Well, apparently 
Not only did the protests occur, the walkouts at the station, but yes, that news director, his assistant, and other staffers, multiple staffers that were part of putting that memo together, distributing it, were also fired. It, it, absolutely ridiculous to me that this will go on. I hope that there is some kind of a lawsuit here or something that goes on for this because to me, th they should not have been terminated for this. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous uh, in every way imaginable. So hopefully something can be done. They can get some lawyers together uh, and sue this station because uh, it, it's just unreal to me. Now, I, I want to hear from from you guys out there, especially if you're in the Western Michigan area, you're in Grand Rapids, do you watch Wood TV? You know, you were there, you know, you, you saw it happen. You know, what do you think about this? And hey, anybody else too, if you were a part of the of this new staff here, you know, that got the boot, you know, if you want to chime in, feel free to do so as well down below in the comment section. You guys, this is all a part of a bigger picture, a bigger issue here. The prophetic picture is this, that we are living in the last days and that more and more, okay, that righteousness, that truth is going to be shut out of this world in favor of the only narrative that matters. And often that narrative that matters, not just the left wing agenda, of course it is, but it's also a very satanic anti-Christ agenda that is being put forth out there. Be aware of it. We're getting closer and closer to the return of the Lord. Now, what I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed and everything going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus is coming soon. For anybody watching me now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. Now that is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon family for as little as five bucks a month. Go to patreon.com slash news, or you guys can click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can make a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.